Hi everyone, welcome to Insights, featuring a name synonymous with Porsche, Targa. Many people uh, I talk to and I hear, uh, there's a misconception that Porsche was actually the first mark, the first manufacturer to make a Targa, which is totally incorrect. Mid 50s, I believe it was 57, the first manufacturer to make a Targa and use this concept and technology was indeed Fiat in a little Fiat 1200. Also other marks before Porsche joined in 66, 67 in their first Targa, Saab, Toyota, and Triumph and obviously Fiat, four companies total, um, all produced a Targa before Porsche. A Porsche got in the game in 66, 67, and still a short wheelbase at the time. This particular example is in 1969, first year of the long wheelbase cars as we know them. We'll get to that. So in 66, 67, Porsche develops a Targa. The first were soft windows, right? We know with a zipper in the back and soft windows, uh, 68, it was an option. You could get a, a rear hard window with the rear defrost in 1968 or the soft window. In 1969, this was the standard, uh, the hard glass with the rear defrost in, in all Targas. Uh, other things to note in 1969 being the first year of the long wheelbase, we call them the long wheelbase because essentially from the first four years of the 911, 65 through 68, they stretched the wheelbase essentially two and a half inches with better drivability, better handling. Something to note on the Targa that many of you might not know is the vents inside the Targa bar, right? The stainless steel Targa bar. This is the first year, 1969, that Porsche went to those vents. So normally, you know, Insights, we're sharing special pieces, rare gems, and I'm sitting in the showroom. Normally, sometimes we're out driving, this time deciding to be here because this is a very special Targa, right? I'm sitting amongst some very special cars, uh, 964 Flockbau in the corner, one of the 25 Rent Sport 2016 versions, one of the 15 early Carrera Speedsters. I see a 550A Spider, I see a 904, and right here in front of me, I see a 906E. This is a 1969. They produced about 1,200 Targas between the TEs and Ss. That's more than the rest of these cars' total production put together. What's so special about this car is the originality. 1969, car was delivered production date early January, so it's a fairly early car. A man named Gary walked into a showroom and bought his first 911 six months after he was married. I had the pleasure of speaking with Gary, the original owner, who owned the car from 1969 all the way until two years ago, 2018, almost 50 years. The first, first place we went to was a, a dealer in Tacoma, and um, we walked in there, and he wouldn't even take our, our order. He said he couldn't get one, you know, for um, maybe six months, couldn't even promise that. And I said, well, just leave the deposit and roll it over into a 70. He said, oh. We don't like to do business that way. So, so they turned away a, a young couple. Yeah. I mean, at the time you were, you were what, Gary? You were like 20, 20 in your late 20s, 28, 29 yeah, years 20, old. Yeah, 29, yeah. And uh, I think maybe he just didn't take this seriously. So we went to Seattle and um, a dealer there said, well, he couldn't promise that he'd give me one, but he'd certainly be happy to try. And in about three or four months, um, he was able to do it. And the car was in his son's wedding. Right? He shared stories about when he drove the car, certainly on long trips or when he knew he was going to put some miles on it, as there's about 50,000 miles, which is low, low mileage. Um, typically, if you think about it, we talk a lot about guys say, I'm going to drive the car maybe 1,000 miles a year. And that's essentially what Gary did you know, for, for 49 years. And when he would drive the car long distance, Gary would take masking tape, painter's tape, and mask off all the leading edges. Really? Got out of the service and started my own business, and uh, so it was just you know driven in very good weather. Actually, the car I never drove the car down a dirt or a gravel road. If I came to a gravel road, I'd be in a candy ass. I would just turn around and find some other 
turn around and, and find the better, but the better. To my wife's frustration sometimes, but uh, she she loved the car too. We've seen many original paint cars, but this one is kind of special in the way that a lot of those other comparison and original paint cars have some patina to them, which Gary's car really doesn't. Gary also shared with me that. And I found it very funny because the interior is in spectacular shape. You know, nothing's ever been changed in the car. The carpet, the seats, the dash, all the normal stuff we talk about, the radio. Um, everything works. The cigarette lighter works. What he shared is the back seat. Nobody has ever sat in the back seat. Yeah, we just had some great times. Actually, nobody's ever sat in the back of that car. Even, <laughs> even though we had a child, no, nobody's ever sat back there. <laughs> Nobody got in the back seat. <laughs> no. There's other cars for that, right? And it's just fun to hear those stories. And, and those of you who are really paying attention and know their early 911s will note the tires on this car are incorrect, not what would have come on the car. Gary shared a story. He had a flat. He was out, out and about and didn't have a, a quick uh, answer. These are truck tires. He bought it like a local farm store and bought all four. So something that we will definitely change, but... Maybe not as rare as some of the other uh, cars in the showroom, but I would argue with anybody that this particular 1969 911T Targa original car is as rare as you will find. You, speaking of time going by quickly, did you ever think that you would own that 911 for 49 years? Uh, you know, I, I guess I just didn't really think of about how long I'd have the car. I mm -hmm. just knew that I, Judy and I just, you know, really loved the car. And uh, that's right. It just sort of happened that way. I never, I never thought about buying another one. Right. And I, I you know, I, I tell you, I miss that car terribly. Um, it's for sale, Gary. I, I, <laughs> I, 